A Day in the Life of an Atlantean Citizen Communication The edges of the walls, ceilings, and floors of all the buildings in Atlantis, Enoch, and New Jerusalem are wired with fiber optics that allow any wall of any room in any building to serve as a crystalline view screen. The people who live in this city in paradise now are the minds who outlived the bodies of those who died there when the flood destroyed it on the earthly plane. Thus, all communication between all these beings is telepathic because they are minds alone and do not possess bodies as we think of them now, but rather auras instead, or malleable energy fields they control and can reshape at will. Such is the true naked nature of the mind in paradise, a state of innocent grace. Because all the people living in Atlantis are only mind beings, without bodies of flesh, blood, bone, organs, etc., and because thus all their communication is telepathic, all communications also occur instantaneously. This is allowed by the nature of the monetary currency in Atlantis, being ZPE, a form of faster-than-light energy field that can be pulsed to contain coded messages of information. Because this communication can occur before the event itself has been seen to have fully taken place, it allows a degree of precognizance and pre-recognition of possible, likely future outcomes. Although there is instant communication between individual minds, there is not a single omnisentient hive mind comprised of all the minds of all the Atlanteans combined. Instead, there is utter freedom for the mind to travel anywhere, to observe and discern any real thing, and to learn and understand all things it can imagine or desire to study. Although thoughts can be beamed directly from one mind being to another over any distance, each mind being is its own uniquely self-aware consciousness.